Happy Friday. Welcome to your daily dose of the Word Plus application. We've been asking all week this simple question, but really profound and deep. What is your destiny? A funeral. <laughs> Honestly, you will die and there will be a funeral. But is that your victory celebration? You've heard it said, this is not a funeral. It's Craig's victory celebration. This is perhaps the most objectionable of all the misunderstandings we've talked about this week about destiny. And it is patently false, as even many unbelievers instinctively know. It is true, of course, that when a Christian dies, he is now out of danger. He can no longer be tempted and no longer sin. In addition, when tragic and prolonged physical or mental suffering precede the death of a Christian, there can be great relief and release for both the deceased and for those who loved him and have cared for them. But who could even imagine saying that a funeral is a victory when it's a funeral of a child or a young mother or of a colleague and friend struck down in the midst of a vigorous and productive life? As a matter of fact, the death even of a Christian is always, whatever age, only a sign that sin has not yet fully been a abolished by the Lord Jesus Christ. That the last enemy to be destroyed under his feet is death. As a matter of fact, death, which does not separate the deceased from the love of God in Christ, does separate the deceased from those who love him. Funerals are not victory celebrations. They're funerals. The grief is in light of the gospel of Jesus, the good news, never grief without hope, but it is still ever and rightly grief. For only on the last day when Jesus comes will death be swallowed up in victory, finally, forever. And friends, that is your destiny. We'll see you on Monday.